Hello everybody and welcome back. I know I'm excuses McGee over here, but I'm so sorry for not posting for a few months once again. I know I'm the worst, but I have another reason. I moved, that's why things might look a little different. This isn't my ideal filming location. It's just that I need to get new blinds for my windows and it's really dark in here. So it'll be propped up on my desk, hopefully by the next time I post another video, which will be sooner than a few months from now, by the way, because I'm gonna get better at uploading because I have better time management now and my life is in a mess. Speaking of lives and lives being messes, I didn't just move, um, I did get a new job as well and it is part work from home, so that's perfect. I worked from home this morning and now I'm filming and then I'm going to work some more tonight. So that's the glory of doing that. But this video is not going to be a life updates video. That's just the general gist, just so you guys know why I've been a little MIA. No, what I will be showing you today is what supplements I take. Supplements, as many of you know, are super essential for a lot of people's healing. For some people, they don't work. For me personally, I love supplements. I take them every single day. If I don't, I do notice a difference in how I feel. And so I'm just kind of going to go through the supplements that I take and how they've helped me, why they're important, just so you can have an idea of what helps me. Maybe some of you guys have gotten recommended these supplements for your different conditions and you want to know maybe more about them or if they even work and hopefully I will help you with that today. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first supplement that I want to talk about is my basic nutrients. Um, I take the Thorn Basic Nutrients. These were recommended to me by my dietitian. Thorn is a great brand. You don't really need to worry about any extra ingredients that go into them. Uh, the only problem with Thorn is that they are a little expensive and in a perfect world, I would have all my supplements be Thorn supplements, but just with my budget, it's not realistic. Thorn, if you want to sponsor me, I'm a big fan. So I don't even know if they do sponsorships, but if you do, I'm your girl. Especially when I start posting more consistently. But yes, these supplements, uh, I take two a day. Uh, you get a 30 day supply of them. They've got pretty much every vitamin that you need. If I'm in a hurry or if I forget to take my supplements or you know, for whatever reason, I just can't do my full routine. I always make sure I at least do these because this has like so many things. I mean, all the vitamins that you could possibly need. Vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K, riboflavin, vitamin B6, vitamin B12. Like, look at that, okay? So that's, the, I don't know if it's gonna focus, but that's the main label, and then they've got all these other continued things on the back. That's a lot of good vitamins and minerals for your body, ladies and gents. But yes, another big reason that I trust Thorn is because of that little label right there, gluten-free. That's where supplements can get a little tricky. I do have some that are just, you know, kind of generalized brands, which is not ideal because you don't know exactly what's in them. I just kind of go off how I feel. If I don't feel like I'm having any thyroid pain or I'm feeling fatigued, I think it's a pretty safe bet that they're okay, but obviously the best supplements you can take are going to be a little bit pricier like Thorn because you know, you're guaranteed to get a really high quality supplement. Speaking of high quality supplement, the next supplement I take are Vital Proteins Beef Liver Pills. Also again, recommended by my dietitian. When I started the AIP diet, my dietitian said that the best thing that I can eat is liver. And I hate liver. I remember trying it when I was a kid and I hated it, but I was willing to give it a shot. And then I still hated it when I tried it again as an adult. So instead of having to, you know, plug my nose and, you know, wash it down with water to try and get liver, I take the beef liver pills because liver is so, 
so, so good for you. Organ meats are so, so good for you. They're so packed with nutrients. They're so mineral and nutrient rich. Just these alone, I mean, again, just look at all those nutrients that's in it. And that's just naturally occurring in beef liver. Also, I'm sorry if my hands are a little shaky. I did have pre-workout this morning, so I might still be a little, I don't know, caffeinated. So not only is beef liver packed with nutrients, it's also packed with collagen, which is just so good for your skin. It's also packed with a lot of B12, which some of you may know is such a great energy source. It gives you a really natural energy, um, which helps with my fatigue a lot because I have a lot of fatigue and a lot of fatigue issues. So if your doctor or dietitian or whatever recommended that you eat liver and you hate it just as much as I do, if not more, which is hard, you should definitely take the beef liver pills. The next supplement that I take on a very regular basis is L-glutamine. I got this one at Sprouts. I used to take the powder, but I got kind of sick of having to, because I had to drink it with orange juice. I could not just take it with water. It tasted like chalk. It was so gross. So I started getting um, the little supplements. And I don't know, you're really supposed to take one. I take a lot more than one. Sometimes I take like five or six. I don't know if that's bad, but I tried to make it even to the amount of the powder I was mixing in my drink on a regular basis, and that was a lot higher. So I did my best with that. But what this does is it helps with my intestinal lining. Now, when I had SIBO, that did a lot of damage to my digestive system, both the SIBO and taking the antibiotics to get rid of the SIBO. So I try to constantly take, not constantly take L-glutamine, I try to regularly take L-glutamine so I can still just repair my stomach lining. And you know, especially if you have those days where you're not eating ideally, this is really going to be your friend. Yes, L-glutamine is your GI tract's best friend. It is so, 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 good for you. Especially if you have any sort of intestinal distress or issues, leaky gut, anything like that, you should take glutamine for sure. The next supplement that I take regularly is the Halo Beauty Kiwi. Woo -woo -woo. As you know, or you may not know, uh, this is Tati Westbrook's um, vitamin line. And I saw the before and after pictures of how people's skin looked after taking this for even one time and I went online and I ordered it. <laughs> On top of the before and after pictures that I saw of people after taking Kiwi, I also just looked at the ingredients and it was all very natural. It didn't seem like it had anything weird. There was nothing in it that I'd never heard of and they're gluten free and soy free, which I love. I take these for my skin uh, because I don't know if I mentioned it, but I do have pretty serious and chronic hormonal acne and I manage it with a few different things. Maybe I'll do another video on that. Who knows? Let me know if you want to see that. But my acne has always been a huge problem for me and this has helped me a lot. I am, again, doing other things regularly to try and manage it, but this has helped a lot, not only with my acne, but just, you know, the appearance of my skin in general. And I love it. It's a lot clearer, it's glowing, it feels better. So I love this so much. I want to take the other one too. It's just, again, expensive. The next supplement that I take is Monolaurin. I take this um, because it's an antiviral and I take it to help manage my Epstein-Barr virus. I think I kind of briefly mentioned it in a different video, but I'm pretty sure it was kind of a long one, so I don't blame you if you skipped it. But I do have um, Epstein-Barr virus that does become activated from time to time. And especially when I have a Hashimoto's flare up or I get sick, it gets really bad and I get symptoms of Epstein-Barr virus over and over again. So I take Monolaurin to help manage the symptoms and keep the virus, you know, as dormant as possible. And then in addition to that, I take 
vitamin C, and that also helps to manage the Epstein-Barr virus. A lot of people that have chronic Epstein-Barr virus or EBV-related issues, they take high-dose vitamin C through an IV, and that's the regular way to do it, but again, expensive. So I just take high-dose vitamin C on my own through a supplement. I got this one at Sprouts. Doesn't seem like it has any weird ingredients in it. So I take this every day. Also just helps to manage it. I also take fish oil uh, because, again, it's great for you. This is the CVS brand. Probably not the best. There are definitely ones that have less additives in it, but it's not hurting me. It's fine for now and it's affordable. But for me, fish oil really helps with inflammation and brain function, which as you all know, I desperately need help with. I have a lot of cognitive issues, both from the EBV and from Hashimoto's. I'm very, very prone to brain fog and getting like confused, having trouble thinking, having trouble paying attention. Yeah. So fish oil really helps with that. It's good for anybody to take, really. It can also really help with your eyes, which I also need help with, because I wear glasses. Although my prescription's not that strong. Maybe because the fish oil has helped. Who knows? And then last but not least, uh, the last supplement that I take regularly is selenium, which, again, great for cognitive function. This one is my holy grail savior for cognitive function. Selenium has been one of the best supplements that I've taken. It really helps with your thyroid and especially with cognitive function. This is one that I notice a big difference in when I don't take it, especially if I'm having a flare up or I'm sick or on my period or one of the many times where my brain likes to mess with me and my hormones like to mess with me. So for me, I mean, it's a real winner. I get this one from Sprouts. If you have any thyroid issues, I highly recommend you take this. I haven't noticed a big difference in my antibodies, but my T3 and T4 have stayed consistent. I don't know if it's all because of this or because of the millions of other things I do to try and keep my body under, under control. And so that pretty much concludes all the supplements that I take. Uh, I've gotten a few requests to do that video, so I hope that was helpful for you. Um, if you have any other additional supplements that have helped you with either Hashimoto's or Epstein-Barr virus or SIBO, leaky gut, or any other autoimmune conditions, just comment below and make some recommendations. If you've tried uh, high-dose vitamin C IVs with, for Epstein-Barr virus, let me know how it's gone because I've when I talked to my dietitian about it, she was only starting to do it, and so I don't really know if it works. So if you happen to be one of those people that does it, please let me know so I can know if it's worth looking into. But anyway, thank you so much for being patient with me. I know it hasn't been easy. I've only posted two videos this year, this one included, pretty sure. So. That's not ideal, that's not the way I wanted my channel to go. It's just life happens sometimes, and I will be more consistent. Peaky promise. <laughs> so lame, I'm so sorry. But anyway guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. If you have any video ideas, comment below. I do have a few lined up that I'm really excited about, but as always, I love hearing your opinions and ideas and talk to each other, talk to me in the comments. I've been a little bad at responding because um, a little something called 500 subscribers happened. <laughs> so I've been getting a lot more comments and it's a little hard to keep up. And as much as I wanna to respond to everybody, please know I'm trying. So thank you, thank you, thank you for 500 subscribers. Um, it's a big deal to me because when I started this channel, that wasn't even something I was really even thinking about. It was, I mainly made this channel to you know, talk about my experiences um, with all these different conditions to hopefully help people not feel as stuck as I did when I was in that position too. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you guys next time very shortly, hopefully within a few weeks. You know what? No, I'm gonna hold myself to that within a few weeks. Okay, <laughs> bye guys. That was very Shane Dawson of me. I'm not gonna steal.
this thunder. Who am I kidding? I'm never gonna steal this thunder. Bye.